Okay, squeeze on in here, guys. Our next stop on the Tenement Museum Tour is this apartment, which appears exactly as it would have in 1913. Okay, pay attention, guys. Some of this is going to be on the quiz. <laughs> All right, this was the home of the Landowskis, a working-class family from Poland. And to help us understand what it was like for them in the strange new land of America, a group of historically trained actors will be joining us to bring the Landowskis back to life. In fact, I think I hear them now. Oh, my darling Ava. For 16 hours today, I break my hands in factory. <laughs> that I can afford to bring a cabbage home for soup. We should have stayed in Poland. Mikkel, our bellies will have to be filled with love. Food will be a luxury for the next generation. Oh, they came here for their children. I wish I could bring home more money, Ava. <laughs> but there are no good jobs. They have all been taken by the filthy, greasy Italians. Mikkel, shame on you. It is not their fault that they are greasy. Meatball eating crotch grabbers. <laughs> you know, I I'm not sure this is okay for my students to hear. Oh, no, I assure you, this conversation is 100% historically accurate. <laughs> Nickel, I don't like to see you upset over the Italians, who everyone knows are not even real white people. <laughs> Please, relax. Sit, eat. Now, look at the bowls Mrs. Landowski is using. Something like that would be a treasured family heirloom. Um, uh, cool. Uh, what's up with the Italian stuff? Hey, bud, let's wait until the end of the scene for questions. Ava. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Do you know how to... <laughs> You know how to brainwash an Italian. How, Michel? You give him an enemy. Mm. <laughs> that makes sense. And Michel, do you know why Italy is shaped like a boot? Why, my love? Do you think they could fit that much crap into a shoe? <laughs> that is very true of you. Uh, are they just telling Italian jokes? <laughs> no. Yes. But I must go now. Or I will be late for my sh night shift at the factory. You work so hard, Mikkel. Yes. I work hard in factories so that someday our children will have be, they, they will be the boss mm -hmm. of the factory. <laughs> and then we will hire half-wit Goomba rat-faced Italians and work them to death at the machines. This is my dream. <laughs> Amazing. Let's hear it for the Landowskis. Feel kind of weird clapping for that, but all right. Now, magically, the Landowskis can hear you all the way back in 1913. So would anyone like to ask them a question? Hi. Um, when you say grease ball, is it because their food is greasy or because they are? OK, please don't answer that. Anyone else? I have a question. Yes, chocolate face. <laughs> And you just answered it. <laughs> Actually, I have a question for Mrs. Landowski. That contraption there, I don't know what it is. Could you tell me about it? Yes, this is for to dry clothes, OK? You put the wet fabric here and turn the lever like this. Ow! One bed sheet, three hours. Ow. Wow! A lot harder than just tossing your clothes in the dryer, huh? But it will not always be this way for my wife. I work... I work very hard to save money, and God willing, I will hire a chocolate lady to do this for me. Nope. Yeah, we're leaving, okay? Let's, let's go. <laughs> 